How are you doing, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls from whatever place it is you're tuned on to the Life of Signatures Radio? Good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon. Welcome aboard. If this is the first time that you're tuned on to the show, it is a daily show that is focused on teaching, instructing, motivating, inspiring on the three subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. If it just does make a sense to you at the end of the of the end of the podcast, share it with as many people in your circles of influence as possible. If you want to give back. After being blessed by it, you can click on the link that is attached. We are in the closing stages of a series. We started this series 1000, sorry, on the episode number 1912. That's how long it has been. And we've been talking about personal blockades. It's been quite a marathon. We're coming towards a close of the same. Right now, what are we dealing with? We're dealing with the signs. What are the signs that there could be a personal blockade. What is a blockade? Is something that is limiting us and unbeknownst to us. It is limiting us from becoming the full version, the best version, the most glorious we can be. That is what a blockade is. Consciously or unconsciously, we might not know it's in operation, but it is there. What are the signs? We are dealing with that. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Obviously, it would be nice for us to just uh, revisit what we discussed in the previous episodes long ago about these blockades. Number one, mental blockade. Number two, spiritual blockade. Number three, cultural blockade. Number four, self-concept blockade. Number five, experiences blockades. These three things come into our lives and they limit us and they stop us. What are the signs that these things could be in operation in our lives? Number one, we talked about this. You are a stickler of culture. There could be a blockade in your life if you don't question new things. You want culture to be preserved through crook and hook. You don't want to listen. You're impervious to new thought. Impervious to new ways. This is the way it has always been done. And you don't want anything to do with anything new. Chances are that you might be limiting yourself or might have been operating through a blockade. Number two, we talked about this yesterday. You've got no goals. Let me talk like Biden. You've got no goals. You've got no goals in your life. That is a sign that there is a blockade in your life. Number three, let us talk about this. You have no purpose. No, let me refresh that. You have not discovered your purpose. Why am I refreshing? Because there is nobody who doesn't have purpose. All of us were born and we have purpose. We came here on the face of the earth to serve a particular purpose. I always said that there is no one that is useless. Even the madman out there on the street... There's nobody on the face of the earth, who, no human being actually, who is useless. I saw a mad person yesterday and it just got to my attention again that I've always said that there's nobody useless. And I looked at them. I said that that's a child of God. That, I mean, God cannot have created somebody and put them here purposeless to suffer and then to die. It doesn't make sense to me at all. 
It doesn't make sense at all. We are the apple of God's eye. And that being the case, God is a God of purpose. God doesn't do things arbitrarily, automatically, just, just for just. He has an agenda. He has a direction. He has a purpose that he wants accomplished. And we are the people that he uses through, or let me not say uses, he partners with us. And this partnership is willing. But it's got to start at a place where we have to understand and discover, why am I here? What am I doing here? What's the purpose for me being born and being raised and having this complicated blood circulatory system, nervous system, brain functioning system? You know, why should I be having all these things going on for me? Why am I alive? There is a purpose for me. And as long as I haven't discovered that purpose, and as long as I don't have the semblance of what it is, I'm just there, I'm just existing to pay bills and eat three square meals go on vacation once in a while you know uh, these three square meals are the ones that I've scattered around to get and once in a blue moon I, I get some KFC or some Cafe Javas that's that's not the reason we live if you've not figured out the reason for your existence or life your life will be without meaning if you don't have any sort of what matters to you, you know, what, what is it that matters to me? I exist for this. Chances are that there could be a blockade operating inside of your life even as we speak. Think about it. If you are created to serve a specific mission on earth and you do not know what that mission is, neither have you any intentionality set out to clarify what it is, don't you think that you're living way below your privileges, even though other things are going on. I mean, even though you've completed your school, you've got your diploma, your degree, your certificates, you've got married someone who loves you, and you've, you've got kids going on. But there was a mission you're supposed to serve, and you ain't serving that, that particular mission. Don't you think that there is a blockade? You're blocked. You are limited from operating in your life the way you're supposed to operate. You're limited from being a blessing in this life that you're supposed to be. You're, you're limited from fulfilling the potential that has been put inside of you one way or another because you do not know why. You do not have a semblance of why. Even if you do have the semblance of why, you're not pursuing this one reason. I mean, it's one thing to know what it is. It is another thing to Set your feet on that path of purpose, discovery and deployment and ownership. If these things are not happening to me, if I don't have a semblance of why I'm here, I don't know what my gifts are, what my talent is, I don't know what I've been equipped with, I don't know what my capacity is. Even if I did know, I'm not using them in any way. That all my existence, the height of my existence is quote-unquote to make it in this life there could be a blockade that I'm operating under. Because lack of purpose is perhaps the greatest sign that I have a blockade in operation inside of my life. And I've, I've got to find a way. That's why I, I've written a book about purpose discovery. I believe it's very important. I, I take you through the eight steps, eight milestones in the journey of your purpose discovery. And these eight milestones actually are coming or are derived from the word itself, discover. D is to decide, make a decision. I want to know what that, is, that, what that thing is. Unless you make a decision, you're going to remain the same. Two is to go on an inquest. That's the I. Go on an inquest to find out why. Why am I here? We don't know why we're here because we are not inquiring why we are here. Uh, three is what we call stewardship. What does that mean? It means that be faithful to the things. Be the best at what is available to you right now. Maybe the only thing that you have is your degree or your diploma. Deploy it faithfully. Be a good steward of what is already happening. In being a good steward, you're going to get to another level, level four. Remember, you've decided, you've inquired, 
now you're being a steward if all these things are in operation level four is gonna come and that's what we call convergence that's where you come to understand that hey it's an aha moment wait a minute this is it this is it you get there through these three steps and then four i mean five it is what i call ownership that means that you start converging everything you do it is about your purpose because you own it now you start creating things that people can be able to interact with you start creating products and services people can interact with because you're owning when your name is mentioned that thing comes to to the fore when that thing is is mentioned your name comes to the fore that is ownership and then v is value addition add value onto this life no don't just live to pay bills add value to this life e is do all these things with excellence i mean a lot of excellence and then r is release in other words disciple other people to do the same thing because purpose is eternal now if you've not discovered your purpose chances are that there is a blockade operating inside of your life we will continue discussing these things in the episode tomorrow but until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring